Hi Angel, this is Richard. I uh, just put together the slides that we discussed in a little more detail um, for the process of making a sculpture. So, and if anybody else is watching this, this is basically the process I'm using now, 2022, to create um, bronze sculpture. So, um, this schedule I have over here is kind of an idealized schedule for the Emmys bus, but the gives you approximate time between them. You know, big wild card is always getting the people involved's um, uh, input and approvals and of course my ability to um, get a likeness and expression and all that. So the first, um, what I'm using here is I'm using this Mother Teresa and some of the children that I just created for San Diego's 14th Street. And uh, this is the same process. and. Most of these are Mother Teresa or one or more of the children because I just had the photos. So first first phase, you know, concept maquette. This is, you know, where we design, des decide and design the sculpture, you know, what what's going to be in, what's not, the pose, the look, the feel, um, the era we're depicting of the person, uh, et cetera. And when I can, I know I get some measurements of, um, of, the, um, uh, of the subject. That's our dog. She's ready for her, her dinner. Um, get some measurements uh, from the people and some, you know, structured shots. Uh, if it's done posthumously or with people that aren't available, um, uh, I just work from pictures of the internet. And actually, in some cases, had people measure themselves. So uh, then I start this digital sculpting. I used to do this part uh, by hand in small clay pieces, but now I just do all the original sculpt, the original, you know, maquette sculpt uh, digitally. And, you know, this is where I started with Mother Teresa, and this is, I don't know, six weeks later or something like that. So this is, God, I keep hitting that. This is a digital render, and then I created, these are all the children, these are all digital renders from that. So once I get this, you know, level of approval, and I try to get this sculpt really tight um, uh, then it goes to I send the files the 3d files off to be machined in foam and they use this like surfboard foam uh, they have more detail than this um, you know, depending on what you pay for but uh, this is this is a little this is this is kind of clean up but anyway I get this foam back and I carve it and this is full size now. So now I'm doing my first physical sculpting in, in foam and clay. So I'm carving into the foam, pretty messy process. Uh, then I seal it, then I put clay on it, and then I do my final, final full size sculpt and do any kind of tuning and nuance work that I want uh, on these. And you know, I'll, I'll change things here and there uh, on that. So once I have this whole thing all done in clay, uh, I'll seal that up and take it to the foundry. So now we're in the foundry phase, and like I mentioned, that's in, in Hawthorne where I'm using right now. Um, and you know, we decide where we're going to cut the piece up for the molds and where, where we want the weld lines eventually to be. And uh, then they make molds for the lost wax process. So they'll, you see the, the shoe here, a piece of the leg uh, on the inside of the mold um, after it's you know, been molded, or after the mold's been created and they have this plaster backing for it to keep it stiff, they'll, they'll paint the inside of this or, and or slosh um, a, um, you know, molten wax inside there, melted wax, and create a hollow positive. So this is hollow um, wax of, uh, you know, there's a different shoe here, a different child. And then, um, you know, I'll come back to the foundry and do my, you know, touch up, you know, a lot of times I'll do some recarving of the eyes and, you know, we spend a lot of time on Mother Teresa with her rosary beads. The, the architect and designer too was working a lot on this, like how to lay it out in a way that was, uh, well, long story, but just little details like that. Uh, do those in the wax and make sure everything lines up. So then to the next part of the lost wax process, is that you coat the wax. This is a child's torso and head um, with these runners on it that are also made out of wax. 
they're coated in a ceramic slurry material, dried, they're coated in another layer, dried, coated in another layer, you know, multiple layers of progressively uh, coarser and coarser and stronger ceramic materials that um, form this, this shell, ceramic shell, when this is fired. So it'll be fired in the kiln and then all the wax that was inside this hollow part uh, burns out, hence the term loss wax casting. And so then they put all these upright and pack them with sand and, and after, the, after they're like heated up to, you know, temperature of molten bronze, um, then they'll pour the, uh, the molten bronze inside each of these um, cups here until they're full and um, uh, let it cool for, you know, a day or so. And then they'll crack out the uh, bronze pieces. Um, there's this piece here you can see there's still ceramic stuck in her eyes and around parts of her hair and that. So sandblasting, chasing, I come back in and um, do detail work. Like I mentioned on Mother Teresa, I had to do a lot of work on her eyes that got things go wrong in the casting process and uh, in the shell process that need to fix in the uh, metal. So it's welding and filing and chiseling and grinding and stuff like that. And then uh, some more foundry work, they'll, they'll piece together all the pieces and blend these in and also come in and work on some of this. And, but mostly my job now is just to make sure that these blends are all satisfactory and uh, don't see any pit holes or pins or things like that, pinholes or things that I wanna have changed. Um, the whole thing gets completely sandblasted and then it goes to the patina process. So, um, uh, oh yeah, I mean, and before this, it's best to like make your, put your mounting features in and stuff like that, you know, bolts or whatever you're gonna have at the bottom. Um, then the patina process, you know, you heat this thing up. Uh, it's a real art and science and, uh, uh, you know, various chemicals at high temperatures that are reacting with the, with the bronze to create the different finishes. And this is a, 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 green, a green Cooper finish we used here. And then this is the final, the final patinaed piece. And here's the final piece installed uh, downtown uh, San Diego. So I hope that part helps. And um, yeah, looking forward, let me know if you have any questions and looking forward to uh, um, yeah, meeting you in person and, and, and shooting some of these processes. Take care, bye.